Friends, in my previous videos, we talk about what is hydroponics and how it is different than traditional farming and how to select the best or ideal hydroponic system for your targeted territory. Today, I'm going to talk about the most important and critical part of the crop production system is the crop nutrition. In any hydroponic uh, system, maintaining your electrical conductivity which is generally known as EC and pH is the most important thing for maintaining your crop growth as well as your better microclimate. So it, it's, it's a vast subject for uh, any crop production system. In this video, I'm going to cover that what are the fertilizers used for uh, hydroponic system? What is the compatibility between different fertilizers? means which fertilizer can be mixed with which fertilizer and how the pH value acidity or alkalinity of the solution impact the, the, the uh, nutrient availability. So let's understand the essential plant nutrients which are required for a normal plant growth. These essential plant nutrients are framework elements which is taken by air or water the others is a mineral elements which is taken mainly from the soil and in ionic form the framework elements are carbon hydrogen oxygen whereas the mineral elements are further classified into micronutrients and macronutrients Macronutrients are required in a bigger, a bit larger quantity, and out of that micro uh, elements, there are primary nutrients, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and secondary elements are calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. The micronutrients are nutrients which are equally important, but their requirement is much lesser than macronutrient. After knowing the plant essential nutrients, let's understand what are the recommended fertilizers for a hydroponic crop production system so the most widely used fertilizers are calcium nitrate triple 19 potassium nitrate mkp monopotassium phosphate and monoammonium phosphate map and chelated micronutrients we generally use chelated micronutrient for any hydroponic crop production system or maybe we can go for for micronutrient fertilizer combinations which are readily available in the market and based on the requirement we need to select which fertilizer is good for our crop so we understand the essential plant nutrient the sources of uh, these nutrients in the form of fertilizer so in hydroponics you need to mix the fertilizer because you are using only the water soluble fertilizers so it is very important to understand that the compatibility of different fertilizers for mixing together so this chart is clearly giving an indication that the compatibility of different fertilizers which you can easily mix there are some fertilizers which is having limited compatibility and there are the fertilizers which is incompatible and you should not mix them together otherwise you are going to face a problem in hydroponic crop production system you need to maintain fertilizer stock solutions and these solutions can be stored in different tanks so based on the compatibility of fertilizers you need to have a two different sets of uh, tanks in which you can mix the fertilizer and the third tank should be there for storing your acid 
After preparing the fertilizer stock solutions, let's try to understand the impact of acidity or alkalinity which is being measured by pH on the availability of different plant nutrients. In hydroponic crop production system, it is recommended to maintain the pH around root zone to a level of 5.5 to 6.5. So why we, we, we want to maintain that, that pH level? If you see the chart, majority of the nutrient availability is higher at 5.5, between 5.5 to 6.6 .6 pH. So max to max, if you see, the, the highest pH should be uh, around 7. Anything beyond that will directly impact the nutrient availability and specifically the micronutrient. So we need to understand that. Today we learn the essential plant nutrients and what are the sources of these nutrients in the form of fertilizers. What is the compatibility of these fertilizers which you can mix and develop your, your or prepare your stock solution. So based on that, you can decide your number of tanks. You need to put a acid tank too. And finally, we'll learn that how the nutrient availability is impacted by the pH or the alkalinity and acidity. These factors are very important in designing your fertilizer for hydroponic crop production system. Though it is very simple, but majorly people are making mistake in identifying the new the fertilizer sources and even what is the best source for their hydroponic crop production system. So, hope I managed to clear some of your doubts. I would love to, to further clarify any of your doubt for fertilizer designing and fertilizer development for hydroponic system. We'll talk more about this fertilizer designing because this is the heart of any hydroponic system in my next video. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.